Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here with my next Korra news update video. This one's going to be all about the Korra comics, and it's not specifically news like about the Korra comics and that we now know more about them. It's more about when we will probably get the next pieces of news about them. And that is at New York Comic Con. We have some hints and some things have changed. This news came out a couple of days ago, but I waited until now to do it just in case anything did change. And something happened so initially what this news was was that people were thinking there are two panels in New York Comic Con that are potentially going to give us Korra comic news one panel specifically mentioned that a member of the Korra creative the Korra comics creative team was going to be at this panel as a special guest that panel was the Dark Horse 2016 all ages panel this is basically where they get creators from some of their kind of more kid focused uh, books that they put out and they're going to talk about the stuff that's coming out in 2016 and they mentioned uh, that a special guest from the core creative team is going to be there now the interesting thing about this is that um, we only know one member of the core creative team and that's Mike DiMartino as the writer oh the sun's pretty bright um, but um, yeah so we know that Mike DiMartino is the only creative, creative member of the team right now brian is kind of assisting on the art once they get an artist but we don't know the artists themselves so that was initially there in this dark horse all ages panel and then the other thing was that there was this panel called dark horse classified and basically they just i think they listed like one or two guests that were going to be there but primarily that they're going to talk about a bunch of really secret and classified stuff that's come out it's going to be a lot of big reveals about upcoming dark horse stuff and most people assume that because they are talking about a special guest in one panel, which is happening on a Saturday, and then the classified panel as like the main Dark Horse panel the previous day, they probably announce core news at the Friday panel and then talk more about it or reveal other things during the second panel. Now the update to this is that the description for the panel on Saturday, the All Ages panel, has removed any reference to Korra. It just kind of ends just before they would talk about and a special guest from the Korra creative team. The other panel hasn't been updated to add anything about Korra comics. So right now, none of the panel descriptions at Comic-Con <laughs> mention Korra at all. So we're in this opposition where like, you're kind of like wondering, wait, does that mean we're going to get any Korra comic news? And this is where the other little bit of information comes in, and that is that Someone, Dark Horse on Twitter, Dark Horse basically, are doing an Avatar month this month, obviously to promote the release of Smoke and Shadow Part 1, um, which is coming out on Wednesday, just so everyone knows. Um, they've been doing this Avatar month, they've been doing the competitions to give away loads of their merchandise, like books and their kind of products as well. And they've been doing that. And then someone asked them as part of this Avatar month, just on Twitter, like, uh, any news on Korra comics? And they just said, uh, nothing yet, but we should have some other news to reveal sometime this month. Um, so, to me, that says that in the lead-up to Comic-Con, go we're going to get news. We're going to have maybe some little piece of news to get us hyped going into Comic-Con about what we're potentially going to get at those panels. But at the same time, the change in the panel description is a bit odd. I personally would consider the Avatar comics to be one of Dark Horse's biggest uh, franchises that they have now. And to me, what they've done here is they've kind of went, oh, wait, actually, we're actually going to not reveal a lot of new information about the core comics at this All Ages panel because that's as much as it is a kind of kid focused book it's not our main panel we should be revealing news about this big book we've hyped it up we know people are excited to see the core comic see core sammy and stuff like that we should make this one of the highlights of our main panel to me that's the kind of mentality that they're going through with in terms of um, designing what's going to be at each panel and so for me what's happened here is they basically went you know, okay, one, we don't want to, we want it to be a surprise when the new core comic news comes out. So we're going to kind of take that out of the description for this one. Maybe they're still, they still get a member of the creative team on that panel to talk a little bit, but I think most of the reveals will probably happen at the Friday panel. But at the same time, this Dark Horse news is kind of like, okay, so I get a feeling that sometime towards the end of this month, start of October, 
we are going to get a big um, news article come out of like comic book resources or something like that. One of those big sites that usually gets these exclusives. For Avatar, it's often been comic book resources. Like they've been the ones to reveal the news about an upcoming series like Smoke and Shadow or something like that. So for me, that's probably like we'll get some news there and then they'll reveal more at Comic-Con or something like that. What the news is going to be, I think they won't have to announce who the artist is. I think that's important. I think it's important that we get to see some of the art from this artist. And I think they will reveal the name of the comic. Because it's not going to just going to be called Legend of Korra comics. Like the Avatar comics were called The Promise, uh, The Search, The Rift, Smoke and Shadow. I think we're going to get the name of what this upcoming Korra comic is actually going to be. And potentially a cover for part one, but maybe that's a little bit too soon. But um, there's definitely a lot to look forward to coming up soon. Because obviously Smoke and Shadow is coming out on Wednesday. Um, and then we're probably going to get core comic news very very shortly and then we know there's another avatar comic series coming after smoke and shadow so there's a lot of stuff to look forward to and i'll definitely keep you guys updated as we go through these uh, news uh, videos and um, final thing I, I just want to say is about the podcast avatar online podcast uh, we won't have an episode released this weekend instead the podcast for this weekend is going to be released on wednesday because we're going to be reviewing um smoke and shadow part one and we want to get our review out on the release date. Usually what we do is we'd record it like the the weekend after the book is released. And it'll be out a little bit late. This time around we want to get the podcast out like day of release. And really build up the hype for this book. So we're going to be um, releasing the, this week's podcast on Wednesday. So just be aware of that if you don't see a podcast come out on Saturday or Sunday that that's what it is i'll talk about it on twitter and stuff like that but uh yeah that has been the video in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on um what, what do you actually think will come out in new york comic con do you think there'll be a core comic news reveal before then um and stuff like that uh, and then once again smoke and shadow part one out in comic book stores september 23rd wednesday if you're ordered from amazon they're probably not going to ship it out until early october and you probably won't get it until like october 6th or 8th or something like that but um yeah definitely look out on my channel for a video review spoiler video review i've already done a preview uh, video for that um but other than that thanks for watching this video and bye